Hi, welcome to Trendy 3D TV. My name is Reese. Today I'm going to guide you through the process of a clean installation of Chaos Group's license server. Now this can be necessary for any number of reasons. Most often, it's because something went wrong with the current installation. That's the reason we're going to go over today, removing the current installation and reinstalling it fresh. To begin with, let's close all instances of 3ds Max we have running right now. We don't want it running with unsaved work when we remove the license server. Next, let's navigate to the following. Program Files Common Files Chaos Group SSL And we're going to delete everything in this folder. Next, Let's open a web browser and go to download.chaosgroup.com and log in with our email and password. Here, at the bottom right of the product boxes, is the license server. Click on it and download the latest version. While that's downloading, let's make our lives easier and double check a few things that could be a roadblock. Firstly, double check your internet connection to make sure it's running. Lastly, double check your antivirus permissions. Some may wrongly detect the installation executable as a threat and block it or quarantine it, preventing installation. Next, make sure your account has admin privileges. If you don't, contact your system administrator. Next up, go to your downloads folder and drag the executable to your desktop. Sometimes, on some systems, starting the executable from the downloads folder can cause issues with the installation. Now that it's on your desktop, right click it and run as administrator. If you have an older version of Windows, running as administrator can be hidden under a drop down labeled More. And once the application opens, the first screen will be the EULA. Have a read through it, then click Accept. On the next screen, the installer will display the installation directory. Then, whether it will activate during installation, and whether it will add a firewall exception, both which default to Yes. If you want to change any of these, click Customize. We don't, so we will click Install Now. While the installer is running, keep an eye on it until it finishes. It will prompt you to activate the license, so enter the same email and password you entered before at chaosgroup.com. Once that's done, we need to check that everything is working properly. Open a browser and type in the address field the following. Feel free to pause, to write or type this down. Confirm that everything is working. The box next to Online Licensing should be green if so. Now click the Windows button and type Services and click on the result. In this window, scroll down until you see VRL Service. Right click it and choose Properties. In the screen that pops up we're looking for Startup Type and in the drop down we want it to be Automatic, not Delayed Start or Manual. Once that's all done, open up 3ds Max and do a test render. Look at that, our render is working. If you have more questions or need more help, feel free to visit trinity3d.com or vray.us. Or better yet, give us a call. Someone is always going to be available between 9 and 6 central time and we'd love to hear from you. Have a great day and thanks for watching.